Hey guys, Craig Benz here with a quick demonstration of some of the new dodge and sponge functionality in Lumenzio version 7. In this abstract scene, I want to bring out more of the color, especially some of these dull kind of green colors in the rock, as well as just more of the texture in the overall scene, make it look more three-dimensional. So we're going to work with both dodging and sponging. Clicking on the dodge button in Lumenzio, you notice that the sponge options have changed from version 6. They're just a little bit different, a little more clear. But more importantly, when we go and use them, I'm going to use the desaturated colors to saturate. The results are just higher quality than they were in the past. So we get a nice looking result very quickly. And I don't think I need to bother with any targeting on the layer mask. I'm just going to leave it as is and move right to the dodging and burning. So we'll click on dodge. I want a 50% gray layer. Click on dodge and burn and we're ready to begin. Now I'm going to dodge through luminosity selection. So let's switch over to the live selection mode. And let's click on L2 for a lights to selection. And the first thing you'll notice with this is that the L2 button is now lit green to remind us that we have a lights to selection active. And we can go ahead and start brushing through this. I'm going to undo that. I need to use the white paint. So switching to white paint with my brush and just brushing in some more detail in the highlight edges of these formations here. And I'm going to work fairly quickly for this. Normally when I'm dodging and burning, I might spend quite a bit of time to really get nuanced and detailed where I want to be. But this is just a demonstration to show you what's possible. You can, of course, spend as much time as you want to to really dial in the result. So just right now, just painting on these highlight edges, those changes build up pretty quickly. So we've gone from before to after to already start bringing out more detail in this rock. Now I want to start painting on the shadow sides to keep sculpting there. So let's click on Darks 4. Let's try that. Switching over to black paint and bring down the flow because it tends to paint pretty quickly on the dark side of things. And now I'm just going to paint in these dark areas through my darks selection. Of course, if any point you want to know what you're painting through, you can click on the check selection button just to review that, yep, that's what the darks for selection looks like. That's what's controlling my brush right now. So I can't paint on the highlights when I have that selection active. And that's what's giving me this fine control to help separate from the highlight and shadow side of my work. And again, moving pretty quickly through this, I would normally spend a bit more time to really dial this in, but just want to show you what's possible here. So let's now take a look at the dodging and burning. And you can see that's really done a lot to shape this image. In fact, just from where we started, if we click on the before button, we see this is where we started and we've come all the way here. So it's a dramatic improvement in the image already, but I want to make a few little tweaks additional. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. And now I want to load the dodge burn layer itself as a selection. Now, if we take a look at it, just clicking on dodge, we can view it and see this is where I've dodged in highlights and burned in the shadows. I want to load the areas that have been adjusted as a selection so I can make some further adjustments. So let's go ahead and get rid of that visualization. And this time, if we command click the dodge button, it will actually load the areas that have been dodged and burned as a selection. So it's ignoring all the areas that were 50% gray in the mask and just loading the areas that were adjusted. And the more they're adjusted, the more they are selected. So now with that active, I can go click on a brightness contrast adjustment and I want to bring the feathering down. I don't need that feathering that Lemenzi has applied. So now we have this mask that is based on the dodging and burning that we've done. And we can use that to go in and further refine our dodging and burning by bringing up the brightness and the contrast through that mask to further tweak the result. So normally when you dodge and burn, it can be very difficult to tweak the result after you've done it. This gives you a very simple way to command click on dodge load it as a mask and refine the overall dodge and burn result. So you can see we've now gone from this original image to here. Where we've got a lot more color and detail in this image with just a few simple steps. Those are just a few of the updates in version 7. Please head over to gregbensphotography.com slash to learn more.